Welcome to AminAcademy.com. In discrete mathematics, let us discuss about properties of integers. What is integer? Integer is a whole number having positive and negatives combined together with zeros. Look at this. Here is that equal to set of integers 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. This side is negative side. All properties and identities for addition, subtraction, multiplication and division of numbers are also applicable to all the integers. Integers include the set of positive numbers, zero and negative numbers, which are denoted with the letter Z. Here, Z is a set of integers here. Now, we will discuss about properties of integers. Integers have five main properties of operation which are Closer property, associative property, commutative property, distributive property, identity property. Now look at here, and the commutative property means look at this addition of two integer is equal to addition with reversed order. That means what? For example, five plus eight equal thirteen. Then eight plus five is also thirteen. Multiplication also commutative. That is x y equal y x. Subtraction is not equal. It's not a commutative property in subtraction because suppose five, 8 minus 5 is 3, but 5 minus 8 is not equal to 3, it's minus 3. So x minus y is not equal to y minus x. Division also not equal in commutative property. That means what? x over y is not equal to y over x. Associative property. Look at here. Suppose x, y, z is a set of integers here x then added y plus z then adding together is equal x plus y plus z that means first number is separated the second and third is first added with the first number which is equal first and second number is added and that answer is added with third for multiplication also x into y into z equal x into x into y into z. For uh, subtraction, associative property is not there. That means x minus y minus z is not equal x minus y minus z. It's not equal. For division also, uh, division is is not associative property. That means for x over y over z is not equal to x over of z y over z. It's not equal. Identity property. Here, addition identity is zero. That means any integer added with zero is equal to that number itself. That means what? Nothing happened with uh, adding identity property. Identity element is zero here. X plus zero is X and which is equal to zero plus X. Here, for multiplicative identity is one. That means X into one is equal to X. That is equal to one into X. Subtraction. Uh, is not possible. Identity property is not zero here. X minus zero is uh, equal to X, but not equal to zero minus X. Even division is not identity property, having not identity property. That is X divided one is not equal to uh, one, one over X. Closer property here X, Y, Adding to the uh, integer is also an integer. This element of z. X into y is element of z. X minus y is also element of z. But x divide y is not element of z because it is some fraction possible here. Yeah. That means what? 8 over 5 is not a whole number. So it's a decimal. So it is not an element of z. Distributive property here. Distributive property over multiplication and addition. Look at here x into y plus z is equal xy plus x into z. That means what x is distributed for y plus z. Even subtraction also x into y minus z equal to x into y minus x into z. Now we can explain these properties, some details with examples. Among those various properties of integers, closer property under addition and subtraction states that 
sum or difference of any two integers will always be in integers. If x and y are any two integers, then x plus y equals x minus x plus y and x minus y will also be an integer. For example, 3 minus 4 is equal 3 plus of minus 4 is equal to minus 1. So minus 1 also the element of z. That is a closer property is satisfied here. The result are integers. Closer property under multiplication states that the product of any two integers will be an integer. That is x and y are any two integers, then x y will also be an integer. Look at here example, 6 into 9 is 54, then minus 5 into 3 is minus 15, which are integers. Division of integer does not follow the closer property, that is quotient of any two integers x and y may or may not be an integer. For example, minus 3 divided by minus 6 equals to half, which is not an integer. Now, commutative property. Uh, a commutative property of addition and multiplication states that the order of terms does not matter. The result will be the same, whether it is addition or multiplication. Swapping of terms will not change the sum or product. Suppose x and y are any two integers, then you can say x plus y equal to y plus x. x into y equal to y into x. So, commutative properties here. For example, 4 plus minus 6 equal to minus 2 comes. Minus 6 plus 4 is also equal to minus 2. Same like for multiplication, 10 into minus 3 is minus 30. Minus 3 into 10 is minus 30 itself. For the subtraction, there is no commutative property because x minus y is not equal to y minus 6. For example, 4 minus of minus 6 is 10 comes, but minus 6 and minus 4 is minus 10. So, which are not equal commutative use uh, and not possible in subtraction. Division or division also commutative property is not there. That means what? 10 over 2 is 5, but 2 over 10 is not 5, it is 1 over 5. So, commutative property uh, for division is not possible. Associative property. The associative property of addition and multiplication states that the way of grouping the numbers does not matter, the result will be the same. That means our first number, then added second and third, then added together is same as first and second number added, then the result is added with third. Like here, x plus y plus z equal to x plus y plus z. That is first and second and third is added, then added with first, which is equal first and second added, then added with third. Same for multiplication also. Look at here, for example, 1 plus 2 plus minus 3 is equal uh, 1 this is 0 because 2 minus 3 is minus 1, minus 1 plus 1 is 0. The same 1 and 2 is added first, that is 3, then added with minus 3, this minus 3 plus 3 is 0. So, it is distribute actually associative properties possible in addition and uh, associative properties not equal for subtraction. That is, here look at here, x minus of y minus z is not equal to x minus y minus z. For example, 1 minus of 2 minus of 3. Look at here, this minus minus plus, 2 plus 3 is 5, 1 minus 5 is minus 4. This side, first and second, look at 1 minus 2 minus of minus 3. 1 minus 2 is minus 1, here plus 3. So it is 2. So both are not equal. So associative property for subtraction is not possible. Next one is distributive property. The distributive property explains the distributing ability of operation over another mathematical operation within the brackets. It can be either distributive property of multiplication over addition or distributive property of multiplication over subtraction. Hence, here Integers are added or subtracted first, then they multiply or multiply first with each number within the bracket and then added or subtracted. This can be x represented in xy form, z form. 
Look at here, x into y plus z, here x is distributed for y and z, which gives x into y and this is x into y and x into z. That is x y plus x z. Uh, for example, minus 5 multiplied 2 plus 1 is equal minus 5, 2 plus 1 is 3, minus 5 into 3 is 15. But distribution look at here, minus 5 into, uh, that is minus, minus 5 into 2 and minus 5 plus minus 5 into 1. So, which is same as minus 15. Identity property. Among the various properties of integers, additive identity property states that when any integer is added to 0, it will give the same 0. 0 is called additive identity. That means for x any number added with 0 gives that number itself x. So additive inverse is 0 for integer. The multiplicative identity property for integer says that whether a number is multiplied by 1, it will give the integer itself as the product. Therefore, 1 is called multiplicative identity for a number. For example, x into 1 is equal to x, which is equal to 1 into x. If any integer multiplied by 0, the product will be 0. Therefore, x into 0 equals 0, 0 into x is 0. If any integer multiplied by minus 1, the product will be the opposite of the number. x into minus 1 equal minus x, then minus 1 into x is also equal to minus 1. So, so far we discussed about basic properties of properties of integers. We have done. Please subscribe our YouTube channel.